One of the killer features of the new Sony a7S III is that it has a flip out screen that lets you see yourself when you're standing in front of the camera. Now I'm shooting on a Sony a7 III, which doesn't have a flip out screen, but I can still see myself. I can make sure I'm still in the frame and I can compose the shot even though I'm in front of the camera. Is it magic? A little bit. I'm James Archer and I make videos about making better videos. If you wanna make better videos, you should check out some of my other videos after you finish this video. If you shoot on a camera that doesn't have a flip out screen, you basically have four options. Your first option is to just shoot blind. You point the camera at yourself and you hope for the best. I've done this many times in the past and I've regretted it every single time. It never works. The composition's always screwed up. Something's wrong. Your head's cut off. You're out of frame. You're off center. Something is screwed up. And on top of that, if the camera stops recording for some reason or something else goes wrong, you don't find out until you've already finished. The second option is to use one of these periscope things. On the Sony a7 III, the rear screen can be put horizontal. You then put this on the hot shoe and it'll bounce the image forward so you can see it in the mirror located inside. It kind of works. It's not great. And in my experience, it's actually kind of still hard to see the whole screen, which means I'm never quite sure if it's composed right. Still, these are pretty cheap and it's better than shooting blind. The third option is to use an external recording monitor like an Atomos Ninja. An external monitor is gonna give you some control over the camera while you're in front of it. So you can actually use it as an interface to change the settings. It'll also actually record better quality footage. For example, on the Sony a7 III, you can record in 422 color instead of 420, which gives you greater color depth to work with. And it actually provides some additional tools for making sure you get your exposure and focus and all that stuff right in the camera. The only problem is that an external monitor like the Atomos Ninja costs several hundred dollars. Now it is totally worth it for what you get, but that's just not in everyone's budget. It's certainly not in my budget, I think. Let me go check. My wife confirmed it's not in the budget. And that brings us to our fourth option, the poor man's Atomos Ninja, an old phone. Sony offers a mobile app called Imaging Edge, which will connect to your camera over Wi-Fi and give you some amount of control over the basic settings, as well as give you a live stream of what the camera sees. You can adjust the ISO and aperture and shutter speed, and you can also compose your shot even when you're not standing right behind the camera. However, there's one giant problem with this app, which is that if you have any kind of interruption, if you switch apps to look at your notes, if you look at a text message, if you get a call, the app will actually disconnect from your camera and you have to go through that connection process again to get it started again. It is a nightmare when you're standing in front of a camera, trying to look at notes on your phone and going back and forth to the Imaging Edge app, it just doesn't work, it's non-viable. It's also kind of hard to know what to do with the phone. If I sit and hold it in my hand, that feels awkward or it looks weird on camera. If I try and prop it up somewhere, half the time it falls over. It just doesn't work super well. However, I was recently talking with fellow video YouTuber Steph Davis, and she suggested mounting the phone on the camera's hot shoe. God bless you. This puts it somewhere you can easily see and control it, which is awesome. I don't know why I hadn't thought of that. Then, and this is the good part, I realized I don't need to use my main phone to do this. I could use an old beater phone. It doesn't need phone or data service. All it needs to do is connect to the camera's Wi-Fi. And it doesn't even need to be a good phone. It just needs to do this one thing. And it just so happened that my oldest boy got a new phone for his birthday. So I commandeered his old phone in the name of art. And I'm now using that as an external monitor for my Sony a7 III. I reset it to the factory settings, installed the Sony Imaging Edge app, connected it to the camera's Wi-Fi, and now I have a poor man's Atomos Ninja. Now, to be clear, this falls way short of doing what an Atomos Ninja can do. However, it has the added benefit of not costing me several hundred dollars. So if you don't have several hundred dollars to go out and buy a proper external recording monitor, this is my recommendation. Get an old phone and mount it to your camera's hot shoe. God bless you. Use Sony's Imaging Edge app to connect to the camera, and all of a sudden you can see yourself, you can make sure you're in frame, you can compose your shots and do whatever else you need to do. Yeah, I'm looking good.